this video is to talk about the precision machining vise. The precision machining vise um, was designed for a specific task, and that is to hold your workpiece um, accurately and hold it securely. Some of the features that allow it to do that are this vise base. The vise base is made out of cast iron, and it is machined and precision ground. We'll start with the bottom. The bottom is what goes up against the mill table. It is uh, precision ground uh, for flatness. So that is one of the things that we need to make sure that we inspect when we go to use this. We can use a pocket stone and inspect the bottom um, every time we go to use it. Let's go back to the top. The top has these two vice ways. Now the vice ways are machined and precision ground to be parallel to the bottom. So if you think about this as a foundation, you start out with the table of your mill being stoned and flat, and then you stone the bottom of your vise and lay it on the table. And next level of our foundation are the vise ways. We need to now inspect um, and clean those if necessary. Once again, you take a stone. Got a little sound there. Now gone. I didn't know it was there. So the stone made a different sound as I went over a high spot. So all I did was go over it until that sound was gone. So now the high spot is gone. Now this vise is broken down comp almost completely. I have the drive screw in it. Um, but I did take the stationary jaw off of it just to give you a view of what's going on. So the tops of the vice ways need to be ground, or, or are ground, but they need to be stoned and inspected to make sure there's nothing on them. Because on top of the vice ways is where our work is going to go. The next part of this vice is the stationary jaw. Now this is the stationary jaw here. This specific one, this is a curt vice. Uh, you see the name there. The way the curt vise is, is the stationary jaw has a raised part in it that will go into this groove. So, since it's a part, you don't build anything without making sure that there's nothing there. So it's stoned and cleaned, and then I can put it back together. And this particular one has two socket head cap screws that take a half inch uh, hex wrench that come up through the bottom. And they have a, uh, a thrust type lock washer on this particular one too. But then I'd come up through the bottom and bolt that guy down. The next item is this movable jaw. So we have a carrier here that slides back and forth that provides the clamping forces. This piece is of a unique design because when we go to close down on our part, our clamping on our part, this angle lock face drives the movable jaw down into the, into the, into the vice ways to hold everything securely. So next we're going to put this back together. So you saw me reach in there and inspect it with my finger and it was dirty. So I cleaned that up with a rag. I'm going to clean up the mating area where the angle lock goes. And this is going to be interesting because in this mating area where that guy with this angle lock goes, there's a pocket in which a half spherical bearing rides. I'm going to put that bearing in there with a little bit of grease. I'll put it in the pocket. And the spherical face goes down into the pocket. And now, uh, before I put it down, I need to stone the surfaces. Make sure there's nothing on them. Good. Clean them off. And now I'm going to straddle the angle lock face. And now I'm down on the vice ways. So now, as you take up this lash, there's a set screw that's going to push against 
the back, there's already one in there. That one's a backup screw. So I turn this socket head cap screw. I'm sorry, this is a set screw. It's a quarter inch set screw. That as I tighten it, I'm going to take that lash out. So now there's no lash in there. And I'm going to follow that one up with a jam set screw to hold that in place. So I'll flip it over, put these two bolts in there. This You'll very seldom take a vise apart this far. I took it apart this far just to show you what the part pieces are for it. So that is the breakdown of the current machine vise.